Hello, I am the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Now, I've only played one previous Star Ocean, and that was The Last Hope, and I actually enjoyed it. I know many people didn't, but I absolutely love that game. It was so much fun, and I saw this was coming up soon, so I decided, you know what? Let's do it. Let's jump back into Star Ocean. Let's have a look at this and see how the series has actually developed. So. We'll get on with it very quickly. Let's get the housekeeping out of the way so we can do that. So if you want to support the channel, you can do. There's a link down in the description to Patreon. Be sure to press the subscribe button and the bell to remain updated with the videos. Leave a like. And of course, if you can, please donate blood. You may save someone's life. If you can, of course. Not everybody can. But if you can, please donate blood. So let's jump into Star Ocean, the Divine Force. Ooh. That's a choice. I'm gonna go with this guy here. Not sure why. I may come back and actually do here in future. Right? Let's pick you. Hmm. So we got easy, standard, and brutal. We'll go on galaxy, which is standard difficulty. Try this if you want a well-balanced challenge. And we'll go with English. Always go with dub when I get the chance. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But if only those dreamers knew what I know now. That humankind harbors a voracious hunger. One not even the limitless cosmos can sate. Ah, that's a good looking bridge, which I assume is our ship. I'm going to take a stab at it being called the Countess. <sighs> ah, another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Or, uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey, danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> for real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. Huh? See? This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. The mouth flaps are very strange. Huh? Scanning craft. Verified. Pangalactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Uh, I think they're aiming at us. That's bad, right? Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. <sighs> Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Sh shields holding at 78%. Why are Hatch they a doing signal this? Through. Tell them we're not hostiles, damn it! No response. Second strike incoming. I mean, we've all had Mondays like this, haven't we? No way! Proton torpedoes? Get schematics on screen. Find us a way out of here now! No good. Cannons fired at our projected course. I like how Elena here is cool under pressure, though. Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Nothing? Ray, they've ceased fire. Your orders. 
Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait. We must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are feds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders. Evacuate immediately. Ray? What, where are you going? Got a loose end to tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Yeah, the mouth flaps feel like they're being generated based on sounds. Come on, open you stupid. Power has been cut from this section of the ship. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No, hey, stop! What do you think you're doing? Elena! This is not what I meant by help! Elena! The crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. No! Maybe not the Countess then. Computer. Number and location of all ejected pods. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pods have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. <laughs> How could they? Ray. Elena. I'm so scared. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course, fourth planet of the Aster Star System, warp 2.1, estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this. But humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger, that bottomless greed, that drives them. And they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness! Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... She's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own heights, huh? We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray! Relax. People back home probably just got our Mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Aster star system. But we have a non-interference policy, similar to the Prime Directive, do we not? So this could be bad. Just hold on! I'm coming, okay? And that's a great start. We lost our ship and we crash landed on a planet. At least we're alive, I guess? If only those dreamers knew what I know now. That you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Arriving on Aster 4. Planetary surface found to be Sufficient for all life forms aboard craft. Initiating emergency protocol. Distress signal activated. All right, 
Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are S.O.L. S.O.L. I mean, you could have just said it, mate. Destination. Icons mark your next destination of the story. Use the icons to proceed to your destination. Oh, my legs are friggin' killing me. Could do with a stretch. Your legs are killing me? You just survived a crash landing on this planet, and you're like, Oh! My legs are a bit iffy. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. Right. Computer, give me all known locations of Vetus crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts. Jettisoned from the Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother, Antonio Lawrence. And be quick about it. Attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence, captain of the merchant vessel Aldous. Come on, come on. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! You there! Take this! Whoa! Whoa! Lady! You've a death wish. Two arms. Yes, I have two arms. What about it? No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I let's rumble. I. Now, to me, this is why I really liked Star Ocean: The Last Hope. Was the gameplay felt so? So good. That was its main thing for me. In the end, looking back, was the gameplay felt really good. So hopefully this holds up. The basics of battle. Different skills allow you to attack, use items, add buffs or debuffs, etc. Damage the enemy using attack skills, which are assigned to circle, square or triangle. Reduce on enemy's HP to win the battle. You need a fixed amount of AP to use a particularly assigned skill. If you do not have AP, this skill will not activate even if you press a button. AP recovers over time. You can cancel the final motion at the end of a skill by pressing a different button. That will activate the next skill immediately and let you take your next action quickly without delay. So just the basic attack, okay. Right, no AP there. Oh, cheers for the sword though, guys. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you... Silence! Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond, it's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in! I knew you weren't alone. <clears throat> Show yourself! Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence! Step into the light! Hey, asshole, harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet scorched Earth, you hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess. If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh. 
Why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you? As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. So they have airships is what I've learned there. Antonio, it's me, Raymond. Oh, Ray, are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation and it didn't end too well for the Yidis. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too, but I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio? Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land, on one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Albert. Your comrades, have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of them. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? <laughs> Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edis. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Astonishing. Only the Medum ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while halt. longer. Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. She almost treats him like a dog, like, stand down, down, boy, down. Awesome. Hey, Antonio, we'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. He's quick to bite. Huh. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ray? Awesome. Okay, let's move. Let's mosey. Receive special item. Ridley. Lazard. Jack. Leneth. Those are items I got because I pre-ordered the game. Party. You can sort your characters, check their stats, and change equipment. Level strength, level of equi- Character. XP points needed to level up. Usual stuff. HP, attack, int, and defense. Guts. Oh. Cause evade and status effects. Oh. Okay. Elemental resistance, status effect resistance. You can switch the order of party members by pressing triangle to change the party. When you select a character, you can open the equipment menu and change out their gear. Okay, fair enough. Let's see here. So what items did we just get? Blueberries! <gasps> we have blueberries! You can check the items in your inventory. You can also 
use any usable items. Okay. Now, I want you to go back collection right and you can view the synopsis terms and other information here. Okay, well, I wanted to see what we got here. So, we've got the weapons here. It's reminding me of, um, Xenoblade Chronicles already there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Just the difference there. Chris and then the ring mail. No idea who these characters are. I know they're from other games, but I don't know the, who they are personally. But it is a case of we do get some buffs here. I, do, I want to see if I can increase the text size though, because I'm thinking YouTube side, it's going to be very small. We can change the controls in various other settings. The UI. Is there a way to actually increase the subtitle size? If there is, I don't know where it is. Screen vibration? I suppose we'll keep that on. Combat camera fair. Sounds I put down a bit to balance it. Prioritize frame rate. Always do that. Always do that. Frame rate far more important to me than the actual graphics of anything. Universal device. Okay, so let's see here. Actually, I wanted to stay in that because I wanted to see about your guys' equipment because we do have accessories. So, damage to humanoids and demons. Let's get that. I'm feeling like he's going to be very, very physical based from what I've seen so far. So, let's do the damage to humanoids attack and the demons as well. And for you, I have a feeling, I don't know why, I may be wrong, that she's going to be very magic -y based. Again, could be wrong. And let's get the divinities and undead from you. Whereas Albert here gets nothing. He gets nothing for being mean to me. We are approaching the Madoom ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Nah, but don't worry. I got this. Hmm? Oh, very well. Shall we then? That's a cool looking sky though. That is a cool looking sky. What's this field skill though? Oh, just attack. Alright. It's this way, right? Press L1 to dodge attacks. You can roll away and quickly put distance between you and the enemy. You can also choose what direction to dodge by using L. Since you are invincible, able to avoid attacks, at the start you can dodge to close the gap when slipping past enemy projectiles. Moreover, you can perform feats and it does not consume AP. However, AP recovery stops while evading. Overusing it to, will slow the pace of your attacks. Hmm. You cannot perform skills with insufficient AP. Good warning there, good Correct. warning. Let us continue along this path. So it seems like R3 is... Alright then. Is lock-on. Which is always nice. I like lock-ons. Uh, been a while since I've swung a sword around, but... I was listening to what he was saying, thank you. Switching between control characters is up and down. If the active player becomes incapacitated, you can switch characters to continue fighting or revive that ally. Keep battling by just in the situation at hand. But... I guess I still got it. My muscles are going to be pissed at me tomorrow. Again, you survived crashing on a planet. So the forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here. Targeting. Well, I literally have just gone through that. I pressed R3 to target. And we can switch targets. Even if like they are a little that. eccentric. Level up, oh, gain SP points. Wait, let's skill points, okay. Use SP to strengthen skills or learn new ones to carry that out. Open the menu and go to party. Check and strengthen skills and the skill tree. Alright. So, where was that? So, party. Check and strengthen skills, okay. Skills and enhancements. Expend. SP to increase skill levels and strength and abilities. You can obtain SP by leveling up and from items. Okay. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet, so I'm going to be wary. Active skill, passive skill. So I'm not sure on which skills I'm using where. 
So I feel it's best to just hold off and not waste any SP, even if I could actually level it up. Did I, did I accidentally do that? No. It does allow you to confirm it. Okay. Yeah, so I just, I just want to be careful here. Let's chain combos. It's like, this is what I need to see. You can assign combat skills and active skills and items to activate by holding down each button. You'll perform the action set within chain combos sequentially with each button press. By using items throughout chain combos, you can activate their effects faster than normal. Build your own original combos while keeping skills, special features, and the AP consumed in mind. Alright. So if I want to hold it, I can use an item. I can use our blueberries if I hold down square. Whereas I got Bell Ringer, Crick Ripper, Boulder Rush. Let's alright then. So we see what we're doing there. So let's actually increase Bell Ringer. Can't wait to see how much better I do. What are you using? So your chain combos. At the moment. Nemesis Rhapsody seems to be a good one because that's in all three of your combos. I'm not messing around with them yet, so Nemesis Rhapsody. Now, do I only have SP for the Groot? Oh no. They haven't leveled up yet. And that's what's going on there. Fair enough, fair enough. That's not what I want to do. What's this? A campsite. Oh, we're still in battle? Sorry guys! Escape! You get the idea of how escape works. Sorry! I didn't realise we were done. There we go, got it. Anyway, campsite. Oh dear. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? About time for a rest. Fair enough. Let's see this off over here though. Sweet! Fresh fresh sage. I thought that was something there, but no. There's another planet in the sky? Are they moons? How big is this planet? Those stairs, they lead to the entrance of the ruins. Got it, let's go. It's got a weird vibration thing going on at the moment. These stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. And then perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? All right, Albert, you're helping us out there a bit. Field attack. You can destroy certain objects by attacking with square. You might find an item that way, so try searching for anything that looks breakable. I'm very much thinking, what are these glowy things, though? Sweet! Iron. Fair enough, I'll have some iron, because I'm assuming I'm going to have to do some crafting at some point. Jump. Press X to jump. Fair enough. Jump, jump, jump around. Visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. As long as whatever we just saw doesn't show its ugly face again. It holds dominion over this area. Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is comfort. So they got zombies on this planet. Does it have auto attack though? Doesn't seem to. I'm just wondering what you do when you haven't got AP. You two have some killer moves. Pretty used to fighting monsters too, by the look of it. Is that how it is for everyone that lives here? Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. Whoa? What did that? Warrant a woe. I found the ruins. So, this is Medum, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Osarian semiomancers once called these hallowed halls home, as written in the old texts. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the QA for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. I can see why they're called ruins. It doesn't even look like we can get through. Long has it been since this place received visitors. Traversal here will undoubtedly be treacherous. 
Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Tread carefully. I'm no expert on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here, left to fend for themselves, huh? Oh, I was hoping to see if I could make it the whole way during their conversation. But we will do pretty much what we've done in um, other Let's Plays. One of every enemy. Make sure we attack one and in between the videos I'll go off and do some leveling up and balance out what I did. Oh, I've got more AP now. Or did I always have that amount of AP? I think I just gained more. I think I did. Detecting. Escape pod signal above current position. No passenger signal identified. Device is probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Yeah, hold out hope, mate. Hold out hope. Sweet! It's the only thing you can really do right now, anyway. Yeah, it's got a very strange vibration with his running. I might turn it off because it feels is the best way of putting it. It doesn't feel like he's running. She's like the ground shaking slightly. Whew. We finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. Please, please, please be okay. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. What is it? It's not Elena, we know that much. Elena... Why? Ray... Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in the damn escape pod? Some captain I am. Uh, Ray! But what actually is this? Hello, hello? Duma production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. Whoa, hey, what the heck's this supposed to be? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you alright? I believe so, but what... Yeah, what is this? Later. Right now, we... we've got company. I, I can fly now. Duma-based combat. Barrier. Holding down R1 will raise a barrier around the surrounding area. This will neutralize all damage received from enemies. Any close range attacks will be repelled, causing the enemy to flinch. Did I miss one? Yeah. During battles while Duma is with you, press R1 to perform special actions with Duma's help. When activated, this will consume the VA gauge, the voice actor gauge? Strange. Vanguard Assault. This action lets you make a high speed rush attack, VA. When you press R1, your character begins to float. While the barrier is up, release that button to make your charge. So we've got R1 to raise a barrier. So holding R1 raises a barrier. Pressing R1 makes our character float. And while the barrier is up, we release the button to make the charge. Okay. Use the L in any direction except forward during the VA charge to quickly change direction. This will also allow you to avoid any attacks. Blindside. Ahaha! Blindside is when you change directions during a VA rush and the enemy loses sight of you. The enemy will be mobilized and suffer extra damage for the time. Blindside and the VA gauge. Like, let me play around before you start throwing more at me. Blindside that incapacitates the enemy lasts for a amount of time based on the VA gauge's level. 
the <laughs> symbols over the enemy's head tell you your remaining time, but they disappear. Watch out. After changing directions during a VA attack, you will consume the VA gauge fully, or use only 50% if you perform a blindside. The VA gauge determines the length of the blindside. Hitting enemies with attacks increases the VA gauge. Build up your gauge with attacks, use a blindside to damage the enemy heavily, form skills to increase the gauge again and repeat. A blindside occurs if you suddenly disappear from an enemy's sight. To perform a blindside reliably, make a VA rush at the enemy looking straight ahead and change directions right before contact. Okay, if you attack and draw the enemy attention of many enemies, you can blindside a large number together by changing directions during a VA attack. Incapacitate and defeat that group all at once. Alright, so... So we want... Can I target them at the same time? I want to move, okay. I did destroy them. I want to see about getting a blind side. It would be nice if it was daylight when we're doing this. Just get a better look at the thing. Okay, so there's our blind side. It would not. It would be nice if the actual tutorial thing went away, so I could actually see it say blind side, so I know I did it right. There we go. Alright, alright. Uh oh. It's got a mech! Decided to bring out the big guns, huh? Shall prevail. I was I was gonna do it, game. Enemies with multiple target areas. Some enemies have multiple areas you can target. Depending on the area the attack, you might deal much more damage than striking the body. Or you might make the enemy flinch with a few hits. Well, that's why I was going for the knee right there. Take out the knee or fall to the floor, right? I'm trying to dodge around it, but it's not doing a dodge in the... Although it, maybe he's just looking at me, strangely. Not let me dodge correctly. Just want that VA up. Use left and right. Okay, do that. Blind side. There we go, okay, 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 I see what they're going with here. For real? The hell is this? <gasps> For real? I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, was it? So, uh, what's your deal? Oh, so now you decide to give us the silent treatment. Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well... Try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. 
Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? I mean, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. I feel like they're too quick to trust. Ugh, morning already? <sighs> well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. Something extraordinary. It's a new day, everyone. And seeing as it's a new day, everyone, I think we shall end this part here. And in the next part, go explore the world, I guess. In the daylight, so we can actually see what is out there. Like, what are those shinies over there? Let's go find out what they are at the start of the next part. Ta-da for now.